What's going on everybody, Ronan here, and in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to test out a theory whether or not the used market is taking a huge nosedive. So what do I mean by that? They used truck, trailer, vans, reefers, flatbeds. I truly believe that the market is falling and falling hard and falling fast for this equipment. So the truck sales, used truck sales are going down, and I believe that the prices for these trucks, trailers, flatbeds, reefers, they're all falling down. So what we're going to do is we're we're gonna go into the results of the Ritchie Brothers auctions. We're gonna go into the most recent auction. We'll see what these trucks and trailers have sold for. We're gonna go six months back and see what they sold for, the exact same unit sold for six months ago. And this will give us a good indication with, on what's happening with the market. So if you are a company driver thinking of becoming an owner operator, this is going to be extremely valuable for you. If you're thinking of buying a truck, a trailer, any equipment, commercial equipment right now. So stay tuned for the information so you know how to better position yourself when you're negotiating the prices for your used equipment. So let's get started. We'll go into the last auction in Columbus, Ohio on June 22nd, the Ritchie Brothers auctions. Let's start off with these three trucks, a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia, another 2016, and another one of 2017. So this is going to give us a great indication because we can see their mileages and what they sold for. For truck number one, one has 613,000 miles. It sold for $50,000 US. Truck number two has 673,000 miles, sold for $50,000 US. And truck number three is a 2017 with 800,000 miles, and that sold for $47,500 US. So this is the most recent auction. And now let's reverse six months ago for December of 2021. And let's have a look at their freight liners that sold. And there are five freight liners that sold let's go over their years and mileages so the first one a 2017 with 326,000 miles sold for $103,000 a 2016 with 353,000 miles sold for $74,000 another one with 365,000 miles sold for $71,000 Another one with 597,000 miles sold for $69,000. So the, we have four trucks from six months ago and these were their prices. So as you can see from these trucks, comparing them to these, these two auctions, comparing what happened six months ago and what just happened right now, you can see that the prices fell drastically. Six months ago, the prices for these units were about $69,000, $70,000 and now they've dropped to about 50, 47, 5, 50 thousand dollars. So that is a huge decrease in the Cascadia market. Now let's look at the Volvo market. So we'll put that aside. Let's look at our Volvos in Columbus, Ohio on June 24th. Let's post up these two Volvos. I have three 2016 Volvos. I have one with 400,000 miles, another one with 638,000 miles, and another one with 513,000 miles. So the selling prices are 62,500. We have a $50,000 and we have $40,000. So this is most recent data. And now let's look at these Volvos six months ago of what sold. So six months ago, we have we have two Volvos. So one of them is a 2016. The other one is a 2017. One had 571,000 miles and the other one had 420,000 miles. You can see that truck number one sold for $75,000 and unit number two sold for $107,000. So a huge difference with with our Volvos. Uh, I would say that six months ago, they were about $75,000, $80,000. And now you can see that they've sold for $62,000, $50,000, and $40,000. So I would say the average is about $50,000. I would say a decrease in $25,000 per unit just in the last six months. Okay, so those are our truck comparisons. And now let's have a look at our reefer market. So if you're ever in the need for dry vans or reefers, this will give you a good indication of what's happening uh, in the industry right now. So first, First, I'll talk about these four reefers that I have over here. All four of them are 2017. They're all Wabash, 2017 Wabash reefers. And you can see that they sold here between $43,000 to, and the most expensive one was $47,000. So this was from the most recent auction. If we look at these prices back in December, which was six months ago, you can see that the same 2017s were selling for $63,000. $63,000. Another 2017 sold for $61,000 and another one sold for 
dollars. So there's a big, big difference between right now versus six months ago with the reefer market. Pause. One second, are you interested in being a sponsor for one of our next videos? Do you have a product, app, or service that can benefit our North American truck drivers that you'd like to promote on our channel? With over 125,000 truck drivers across four platforms, 8.5 million views in the last 12 months, let our channel bring your product to life. Send us an email if you're interested in sponsoring one of our next videos. And now back to that video. So now that we have the results in the US, why don't we look at the Canadian market? So this is really good for my Canadian fans, which is about 15% of you out there. And this is also really good for my American fans that if you ever wondered, should I consider purchasing used equipment from Canada? Does it make sense? Is it cheaper? Well, have a look at our results in our Canadian auctions. Well, the most recent auction here, the Ritchie Brothers auction happened on Tuesday, July 12th. So first, let's talk about the Freightliner Cascadias. In the recent auction, I'll post them up. There were four Freightliner Cascadias that were sold, two 2018s, one 2019, and one 2017. Now, if you're looking at the prices, you could see that the price for the 2018s, one of them sold for $92,000, one of them sold for $76,000, and they had 937,000 kilometers on them, which means if we convert it into miles, you're looking about 550,000 miles for both of them. And what they sold for, one of them sold for $70,000 US and the other one sold for $58,000 US. Now let's get into the 2019. There was a 2019 with a million kilometers. A million kilometers is equivalent to 600,000 miles and that truck sold for $70,000 US. And then we had another 2017 that sold for 46,909. So now let's go back six months ago and see what these Freightliners sold for at the Canadian auction here in Toronto. So the two, the only two that I have is 2018 Cascadias, one of them with a million kilometers. They're actually both with a million kilometers, which is equivalent to 600,000 miles. And these trucks sold for $61,400 US. So when we're comparing the six months apart, we can come to the conclusion that the Freightliners fell about $10,000 on average per unit. Now let's see if the exact same rule applied for the Volvo. So here we have in the most latest auction on July 12th, we had two Volvos, 2019 Volvos that were sold and they were sold. One of them was sold for $133,000 and the other one sold for $125,000. When you convert that into the U into US dollars, they're around $100,000 US. Well, the exact same truck sold for on March 8th in the last auction here in Toronto sold for $112,000 US. So you can see that the used market has fallen, I would say at least by 10, $15,000 per unit it fell with the Volvos also. Okay, so now we'll get into the drive van. So we're gonna compare two auctions the, that happened, the most recent auction on July 13th here in Toronto versus the March 9th, which happened about three or four months ago here in Toronto also. So here are two 2016 16 Great Danes that were sold in the most recent auction on July 13th. They both sold for about $48,000 Canadian, which is equivalent to $36,912 US and $36,143 US. Have a look at these two trailers. And now we will compare them to four months ago that the exact same trailer sold for about $66,000 Canadian, which is equivalent to about $52,000 US. So you can see a huge decrease in the the dry van space. And now let's have a look at the reefers. So the most recent auction, lots of reefer units. So here's number one, two, three, four, five, six units were sold in the most recent auction. They were all about, one of them sold for 53,000, the other one sold for $72,000. And these are all 2014, 16s, 2017s, and there are three 2011s. So the direct comparison we have was from four months ago, we have a 2014 Manic and we can compare it to the 2014 Utility. You can see here that one of them sold for $53,000 Canadian, which is equivalent to $40,757 US and the exact same 2014 sold for $73,900 US, which is equivalent to $94,000 Canadian. So a huge, huge decrease in the reefer space. So here's another direct example, 2011. I have three 2011s here that sold on July 13, and they are all $31,000, $21,500, and $20,000 Canadian. And four 
months ago, they once sold for $57,000. So it looks like the reefer market is crashing. It looks like probably between 40 to 45% decrease in the last five or six months.